Good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Iori Folare. Well, this week it's turned out that we've been talking security from the very beginning. We didn't know it was going to go that way. Um, but, but here we are. And um, we're going to continue with security today because, um, as you've seen already, Neyati Ala Cattle Breeders Associ Association of Nigeria has... You know, everybody's exploring how to reduce tension uh, in terms of clashes between farmers and herdsmen. And Miati Allah has come up with a suggestion. Uh, you know, perhaps we need a Fulani vigilante group to complement other efforts and work together with all other sectors on the same problem. That's it. That's the premise. Now, I'll tell you about my guests. Mr. Evans Ufeli, he's a lawyer and public affairs analyst, as always. Good morning, and uh, good, morning. good to see you again. Thank you. And um, the other lawyer, Mr. Olainka Daniels, lawyer, no, Olainka Ola Daniels, to be yeah. perfectly correct. Uh, Mr. Da Mr. Ola Daniels is a lawyer as well and a social commentator. Thank you very much, as, well, as always, Inka, for coming Thank you on for too. Thank okay, Now, uh, Evans, this is a problem, and look, it requires all sorts of efforts. Um, I was just reading the other day that a youth copper who was abducted in January has been released following um, negotiations and um, perhaps thinking outside the box. I understand that even a journalist with um, uh, impressive connections with, you know, working with the authorities here, they all came together and they worked at it. And uh, here we are, we have the girl released. So, but um, let's look at this suggestion by... Um, Niati Allah, where there was a conversation on how to move forward and how to get results. Um, a Fulani youth vigilante organization. Your thoughts on that? Well, I, I think um, <coughs> it's a suggestion or a proposal, as it were, for mm. now. Um, if you look at um, the fight against insurgency before now, um, why the military took occupation of the territory, that is the the Northeast, to be specific, at some point, um, the uh, youths, they, they call them the, a vigilante group, okay, who happens to understand the terrain better than the soldiers. That's in the North? Yes, in the North. Okay. Although <coughs> this suggestion arose uh, as a result of the challenges in the Southeast. Yeah, I understand. I'm yes. just giving oh, yes, perspectives, background. Yes, okay. background to it that at, at, at some point they, they use the, the people in the area That's right. who understand the terrain and who also uh, knew the insurgents. And then we, we got some level of progress. Now coming to the southeast, uh, talking about the Fulani uh, youths. Vigilante you know, proposal. Uh, vigilante, vigilante proposal. proposal. Uh, if you want to look at it broadly, it is not a bad idea. It is not a bad idea to say if there is uh, sincerity and if it, if it is properly screened, scrutinized, and guided mm. by the authority. Because originally, the function of security is that of the government. Of the federal government, then at the state level, the governor being the chief security officer of his state to deploy resources and then to make sure that you have but, but we it, often hear it, it, also that even the citizenry should be involved in security. Yes, that the citizens should be involved. Now, one would have thought that uh, they are going to talk about using the people in the region to, you know, uh, get them involved in the process as it is done in the Northeast. Well, in this case, a different thing because here you are talking about the Fulani youths themselves, okay, uh, are going to come down to the southeast and then, you know, create uh, will a they be coming down or they are already there? Because um, it was said that um, uh, the southeast uh, by Miatiala has been a good host to us. So it's like there's a community there. And um, I, I, I'm not too sure about whether they would be coming down from anywhere or they would be, you know. Yeah, that, uh, that has not been explained. It, it has not what been What we have is just but, the idea. Uh, because since you're talking about knowing the terrain, I would imagine it would be full any resident uh, already in the south headsmen based already in the southeast in the south that would be, be that would be the best candidates well i think that is also fine but we must profile them we must profile them thoroughly because one of the problems we have in nigeria is people are hardly profiled people are hardly on record 
So if they are well profiled and then the indigents of that community know them, mm -hmm. know them as the good headsmen. Okay. As, uh, let me use that. Okay. So I think there, there will be a level of trust and there will be some level of uh, uh, working relationship that will enhance resistance when the bad ones, because it is not all headsmen that are criminals. There are some of them who go about their normal duty without even uh, using their animals to disrupt other people's property. But there are some of them also who are armed, who use their animals recklessly and then go into people's farm without any form of caution. So those are the ones that are the security risk situation, or security risk persons. Mm. And I mm. think the resistance is against them. Okay. So if the evil communities or the Southeast communities will collaborate, if we assume now that it's going to be the headsmen within, already resident in the Southeast, if they collaborate, it will create some level of synergy. And then that will help also the forces, okay, to look at the issues who are the headsmen here, who are the ones that migrate, because these people are nomadic in nature, the ones that come in and the ones that are resident, we have to know who, who is who, who, is who? Exactly. within them and then know how to go about it. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Inka, he used the word profiling, which can be a double-edged sword. Uh, I imagine there might be such a thing as positive <laughs> profiling, but there are also instances where people complain that they are victims of profiling. Um, but I think I understand the, the sense in which uh, he, he used it. Now, Meati Allah, uh, Meati Allah, the national president, Alaji Mahamadu uh, Makirowa, is reported to have said that, look, when people talk about insurgency or violence or all these bad things, immediately Fulani herdsman jumps to mind. And, you know, this is part of um, this whole proposal is one way to address that, look, there are real cattle farmers, peace-loving, who go about their business, and maybe if we were to set up our own use among ourselves, it might help. So looking at profiling, which I understand the way, um, the way Evans used it, but also it could be a double-edged sword, and Mieti Allah itself had said so, that people see disturbance, violence, all of that, and immediately... Fulani headsmen, well, the Fulani jump to, to mind, which is something that um, doesn't make Meati Allah, Allah happy, and they want to help address. What do you think? Well, by the way, I need to say, sorry, you already know, but let me just say for the, for the sake of conclusion, especially for those watching from abroad, that a number of social cultural organizations, Ohanese Ndigbo, for instance, has said that it's not a good idea. It's not going to fly. Uh, Atheni Ferry, uh, Southwest, uh, have said that, in fact, they've called it insulting. But give me your thoughts. Well, um, ordinarily, like um, my friend said, mm -hmm. Evans. He, Evans said, is, is a welcome, it's supposed to be a welcome development. You know, this is a suggestion, you know, from Mayati, which, ordinar which ordinarily is supposed to be a welcome development and all that. We are talking about one Nigeria. Yes. So what well, is not ordinary about it? Thank you. Because we run a system that we don't even trust ourselves. We run a system where a particular region has been, in quote, known to be terrorist. Let me, sorry, pardon me to use the word. Where a particular region does not believe that everything that happens. Now, these are the names, like you said, these are the names that comes up, the Earthman, the Fulani. Then... A group of people from that as is still now coming up to make a suggestion. If okay, maybe it, they are trying to do, we will use robbers to watch over robbers, so that um, you know uh, the Yoruba will say I'm foolish, surely. You know. Well, that, it's not the most positive of uh, proverbs, but that, I think yeah, I understand yeah, oh, you. Good. You know, yeah. because because um, we can't assume. If going by that Yoruba expression, expression. Uh, we, we, we can't assume that. Yeah, but let, let's even then let, let's yes, come home. That the now, are... Well, they may have their attention, but the question is in the southwest, we have the Odua, the OPC, which uh, also they are already saying, well, you people be careful. Um, the uh, Are Onokakanfu, um, Ghanaian Adams spoke recently. 
you know, and it was warning some uh, set of people to be careful and leave Yoruba land if this is what they are coming to do in Yoruba land. Now, the Indibus, I'm sure they also have um, some vigilantes, yeah. people that they use. You see, we, when we talk about vigilantes, it comes down to community policing, which we are still debating on whether we should have state police or not. That is another thing yeah, entirely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, because when it comes to community policing, it means that the people know the terrain that they want to police. And that's the reason why you find out that even in some of the eastern side and some of the, um, yes, basically the eastern, you find out the, um, what are they called, the vigilantes, even help the police in doing their job. In yes. fact, sometimes they are the ones that even capture those people just, and they hand them Just as they over. did in the north. Yes, mm. and they north too. You, and they hand them over mm. to the police. I, I don't see reason why Fulani should come to the Indigo when they also have... No, when I'm talking about policing. I'm talking about yeah. vigilante. Yes. I'm not... No, no, no. Nigeria it, it, is, it, for, it, is for all of us. It, so anybody it, it, can even if it anywhere. is going to be among them, among from among them, the Fulani I, uh, headsmen I'm, community. I'm sure that the Indigo's vigilante will know the terrain more than anyone coming mm. to police the terrain. Okay. The same way to Southwest, the same way to the South-South, the same way to all the regions. Mm -hmm. So now, them coming... Because ordinarily, as we speak... Most of these regions don't even believe in the Fulanese or the Ant-Man because we are talking about kidna kidnapping. The, uh, we, 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 at least we can hear what is happening around um, the Ife. When you say don't Kiti, believe, and, uh, don't believe that the stories are true? Or what, what do you mean when you say people don't believe? No, no. When I say people don't believe that they are not the one doing oh, it, okay, that okay. they are uh, Fulanese okay. or Ant man are not the one committing okay, this yeah, crime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, you are now telling these same people the people that already, they are not policing. They are not the vigilantes. You have not given them powers. Yet, you hear of kidnaps, you hear of rapes, you hear of all sort of um, uh, 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 criminal activities. Then, the name of these two people, even when sometimes, when they are captured, we find out that they are even visitors. They are not even Nigerians. Maybe from Niger or some other places. But in, in total uh, um, assumption, everybody believes they are the full lines. I don't think... This is the time. The timing. I think I, I'm particular of, about of the this timing. particular yeah, suggestion. Of, yeah, this suggestion. I think the timing is somehow odd. Uh, I don't think we should go this route. Maybe every region, probably what they should have advised, every region should bring up vigilantes teams to assist the police and the military in fighting. We, we, which, and they have it going pretty well um, up, up north. north. Yes. Um, so much so that we've heard that they mean... Uh, they've been getting um, some results there. The community is working with um, um, law enforcement authorities. He, he brought up the matter of trust. Uh, 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 th that is going to be crucial, right, yeah. uh, in any serious consideration of this. Because um, it doesn't matter what the facts are. But I, I think, well, m uh, maybe scratch that. It, it does matter. Um, but I was going to say perception is tremendously important. Yeah. The facts being what they are, but sometimes the perception, never mind the facts, can actually have a great effect on, on how things are perceived. Meate Allah itself said, said, said so that when, when troubles, troubles of the nature we're discussing are brought up uh, or mentioned, you, the mind immediately goes to the full and and that's something that, um, number one, they would consider unfair, the full in uh, the Meate Allah, that is the Cattle Breeders Association. It just so happens that they're Fulani, but there's no Fulani in that title. Um, so, Cattle Breeders Association. So, if some Yoruba chief, you know, had 500 head of cattle, I, I, I think he qualifies for, to be a member of uh, Meati. I don't know, but you, you see what I'm saying. <laughs> they, there's no... So, it's a Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria. I think President Buhari is the grand patron or something like that. Um, he himself being a, a cattle breeder. Also. So, I mean, coming back to the issue of trust, um, I think in your answer, you also alluded to, without necessarily mentioning the word, that confidence building, you don't think enough of that has been done yet? No, well, to I, warrant? Yeah, I, I think that uh, the question of trust is very important uh, because the, the Southeast is not one region that uh, really will have built confidence and want to trust the Fulani, uh, whatever arrangement they are bringing to the board, okay? Because uh, if you look at it, the mayor Chiala had consistently uh, made the remark that these people who attack are not, are, are not us, okay? They are not us. And then 
people have said no, that this organization, there are bad eggs among you that do these things, even though you don't ask them to do it. We can't really say, but there are bad eggs among you that do these things. So if that perception is still there mm -hmm. and has not been particularly defined, okay, mm -hmm. as it stands now, the, the real enemy to the state and the farmers is not particularly clearly defined. So when you now bring such kind of suggestion mm -hmm. to say, okay, we're going to have this vigilante for which you are going to accrue certain kind of power and authority to them, possibly arm them or not, or they get themselves armed, and then it's going to, it may lead to further breakdown of law and order if we are not very careful about it. That is why I want to allude to his own submission, that it will be better we use the natives of these communities mm -hmm. to, to build a community policing system or a local government police structure, okay, where the owners of the land who understand the terrain can easily tell, the owners of the land can easily tell when a Fulani who is an outsider is within their mix because they already know the Fulanis who are in their terrain. So if they find an outsider, they definitely understand that this one is an intruder oh, well, well, or well. this one has come to invade. So, oh, okay. so, so they, they, they understand the terrain. You know I how complicated this is? We leave it you, at... You know, this is a very, very complicated uh, matter, I suggest, because of what you've just said. Um, quote, unquote, a Fulani who is an outsider might not necessarily be a bad guy. There's that complication. He might be, yes, an outsider to cattle breeding and to be known, but he might not be a troublemaker. But if there's been a stereotyping, uh, uh, profiling, never mind stereotyping, if there's been a profiling <laughs> that, look, anybody of such characteristics, quite frankly, is, is, is trouble, and we're not going to tolerate it. I, I guess this is where the problem is. Trust has broken down. And, um, Irretrievably. Oh, 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 oh. You, you, you want to add that word? Yes. You want to add that word? <laughs> yes. So this is the problem. Yeah, this because is the problem. Yeah, because where, where I'm hitting on that is, I think when we have a culture uh, that surrender every criminal allegation to prosecution, oh, okay. it would have been better. But we have a culture of jungle justice. Oh, dear. Okay, we have a culture of leeching, we have a culture of mobbing. Uh, so even wait, if the wait, good wait, guy let, let who is an outsider let, is in let, town. Let, let us put that remark in context. When you say we have this culture of jungle justice, we do. Culture, who, who is the we? <laughs> who is the we? Well, let, I, I, ah, say, I, run, I run an ah, organization ah, that... Wait now, that, ah, people that are listening from all over the place. We do, we do. Sometimes, sometimes we don't we, allow for... Uh, jungle justice? We don't allow for police prosecution. Okay. We mob people, we leech them. Some, some, yeah, sometimes, some, that's some, what I say, sometimes. Some, some people sometimes lynch yeah, people. Yeah, that's what because I'm one saying. doesn't want to give the impression that, look, don't, uh, it's, the, it's the, not all the time. The, the British government advisory said, don't go to Nigeria. No, 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 it's not all the time. Don't go. It's not, it's not, it's not all the time, but sometimes we okay. have that tendency. And that is also a big security risk situation that should be addressed alongside any suggestion of this kind where you are asking for a vigilante okay. and all that okay. we, we, it, it must be carried along that 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 concept must be carried along this and that's exactly what i'm talking about in, in, in the process <laughs> do you accept also that it's a tremendously difficult situation because first of all there's this whole matter about fulanis as is well known that um, it's not just in nigeria that we have fulanis they're all along the west african coast um, <laughs> So this, this suggestion that maybe the inclusion of this Fulani youth vigilante amongst the people in Southeast might be a, a good idea, it's been almost out of hand as far as I can see from newspaper reports, thrown out by Ohanazing in Indigo, for example. The, 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 the host communities say they don't necessarily have anything against grazing. Yes. They don't have anything against people you know, having visitors in our area. Uh, but there are traditions, there are norms, there are rules of engagement, and there's only going to be trouble if these are trampled upon. Now, whether Neati Allah's membership uh, respect that notion 
and do all that they can to, 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 to uphold it, I guess is another matter because the Allah members, also being Nigerians, say, look, like you, we have rights. We have rights. And the people are saying, not that you don't have rights, but in this area, there are traditions. Yes. And, you know, so this is, why, this is why there's a lot of work ahead. Uh, I, 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 someone called in from the UK. Uh, is that Shegu? Good morning, Shegu in the UK. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Thank you very morning, much for sir. calling in, sir. Good morning. Yes, thank you. Thank you for picking my call. Um, and good morning to your guest at the studio, please. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I just want to make a few contributions as regards to um, the man with the glasses. Um, I quite agree with both of them as regards to, you know, having community policing within the uh, community to actually have these people fished out. Like he was saying the other time before you stopped him, and he um, was saying something as regards to um, when people police their community and when they see a foreign or maybe a stranger. Uh, an, outside, an outsider Fulani. Exactly. That them, that them, you know, they might be able to feed them out. And you were saying that might be difficult. It's not going to be difficult. It may yet realize an association of the Katu breeders within that community. So whoever that is coming in, who is a stranger, should register with them. If they are not identified to that association, then they should be, they should be, they should be taken out of the, out of the place. How can you just, you know, get into a community and then um, you know they have an association that you belong to wherever you're coming from. Then you should first of all try to identify yourself with that community or that association before you will be given a place to, to flourish in that community. And that's the way it's supposed to be otherwise. And I think um, it's not worth it. So um, community policing, I think, is the best way to go about it. It's just too much. I don't know where this is taking Nigeria to. It's, it's honestly... Is unbearable, and the country is not moving forward the way the way we hear things happening all over. So, and I think the government should, should, should do something about that. The contribution of the two gentlemen, I think, is. I mean, thank you very much, Oluwa uh, calling in uh, from uh, the UK. Uh, the phones are almost on fire, you know. <laughs> one can imagine because, um, like, like. Like every conversation we've had this week, it's all about security. And that's the first thing, quite frankly, the first thing. After security, then we yes. can arrange our lives, whether it is health, whether it is education, and yeah, all of that kind of thing. Secure before you talk about business. I, 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 exactly. Um, it, it's interesting that um, the host communities are saying that, per se, we don't have anything against grazing, which is a, you know, is something of a flashpoint. Um, but they were emphasizing on there are norms uh, when when they, they were making the excellent point i thought that look there are norms in various communities up and down the land including fulani communities back wherever they you know is their origin and these must be respected now it is thought by those some people that there's a breach of this ordinary provision and that is what is causing the tension how optimistic are you that we can all get on the same page respecting you and your attitudes, your community, your, 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 uh, oh, I just mean interrupted. Felicia, Felicia in Hello. Kaduna. Good morning, Felicia. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Good morning, and Good morning to the panel. Thank you for morning. calling in. Thank you. Now, I'd like to just make my contribution. Sorry about that. Sure. Um, now, the thing about it is that if, the Fulani people who live in the other um, parts of the country, like in the southeast and the southwest, have been there for so long. And they want to um, form a vigilante group. My advice to them is this. Let them disassociate themselves with Miyati Allah because Miyati Allah does not have a good reputation. For Miyati Allah trying to say that they want to have form a vigilante group to fish out the bad eggs amongst themselves, amongst the herdsmen. They should start from the north first. Let them clear up the parts of the north where we have all this banditry going on. Okay. And then, because the way I see it, if you would leave your house on fire and you want to go and quench the one in another person's face, it's not as a lot of, um, how would I say it, indecency, because as far as I'm concerned, there's an ulterior motive going on. Oh. You want to go and say you want to form the Atlantic group in the other states. 
I see. Thank you very much, Felicia. That means you just want land for, for ranching. You want, you want them to give you land for ranching? No. Start from the north first. Let them start from the north first. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much, Felicia, for calling in. Uh, go on, go, go, <laughs> go, go on, she, Evans. She a sound point uh, there because um, if you look at uh, the north centre, Benue and the rest of them, I mean, uh, we've had this attack there. If uh, I, I had thought that uh, they should have even focused on areas that are badly affected first, like she, she suggested. So uh, if, if they're able to do a good job there, perhaps we'll build trust towards that and then give them an opportunity to exercise that same ideology in, in, the, in, the, in the Southeast. But uh, uh, having not done, having not curtailed the, the problem already persistently uh, 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 exhibited by the, the, the Fulani uh, or, the, or the headsmen, and then they cannot be saying you want to come down to another region to, to curtail the excesses of these people if they have not been curtailed in their own domain. By the way, wait, 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 wait a minute. Let me just throw in an almost useless trivia kind of a question. Is every single cattle herdsman a full any man in Nigeria? Every yeah, single uh, one? Pre predominantly, <laughs> yes. Yeah, predominantly. <laughs> okay. Because, uh, yeah, that's what people believe. That, okay. Oh, an average cattle uh, rare because that's what they are known. Okay. Four. Uh, so they believe they are. Are they in the UK? Good morning and thank you for calling in. Are they in the UK? Good morning. I think there's a problem. Uh, there's, a, there's a slight problem. It must be technical because uh, I can hear echoes the, of what we were saying a few seconds the ago. The other lady made a very, very vital point. Okay, Felicia. One of the, yes. She said, Mihati Allah, you don't even have good reputation. And that's the truth. You know, from what they've been doing so far, the days of um, you, attack, you are the one attacking the, uh, our military um, um, personnel. You are the one doing one thing and, um, you, okay, one, your leader's been arrested. And you've been on and on and demonstration and here and there. So if they are saying... They have a motive behind this. They may not be totally wrong. Already there's an allegation of, yes, they want to be at every state. They want to dominate everywhere. They want to be everywhere so that if anything is happening, they want to be in charge. Already there's an allegation of such. Now, if you're, that's the reason why I said the timing. Very, 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 very odd. If you're coming, even if you have a good motive, mm. but with your reputation. Okay. Uh, Inka, uh, you, you said some things in there. Um, uh, well, uh, okay, uh, another colleague, they wanting to be in charge and all of that, um, they, they haven't said that. Or I said I, allegation. People uh, oh, oh, okay. everywhere, allegation. Oh, okay, because they... It's, uh, um, it's been alleged oh, oh, okay. they want to be everywhere. Is, uh, you know, so... Oh, okay, okay. I, I got a call in from Abekuta, and uh, the, we, we sometimes have issues like this uh, uh, in that area too. Um, uh, who is calling? Ayodele Nabekuta, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Ayori. Thank you for good calling morning. in. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, good morning, everybody in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. I think <clears throat> the problem we are having is a good idea, but there's lack of trust. That's just the problem we are having in this country. Because these people want to join with the community, the vigilante of that community. They have their own set of people. They are trying to watch, I mean, to give, I mean, their image. They want to keep their image. That everything that happens, they will say they are the full and the full and the rapper. Okay, let our people join your own people. So that whenever anything occurs, they'll be able to say, okay, truly, they are the outsider, not the insider. And that's just the essence of the thing. It's a good idea. I mean, I don't, but the only thing is that there's lack of trust everywhere now. Well, no one trusts each other. That's just the thing. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. I delay calling in from a very good time in State. Um, we'll take a break now.
can uh, the whole proposal to have Fulani vigilantes uh, in the southeast as proposed by Mieti Allah as one of the ways, or shall I say, a further effort to, you know, bring down the uh, rate level of Fulani, uh, no, no, not Fulani, farmer headsmen clashes, because that's where the problem, farmers' destruction of their livelihood via the farms and all of that kind of thing, uh, you know, and the Fulani is saying that, uh, the, the headsmen saying that, wait, you know, cattle is cattle. So it's, it's a matter of how do we uh, coexist together. Now, one thing that has been highlighted in our conversation this morning, both from home so far and in studio, is that the, 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 there is a, a confidence, you know, uh, debacle. People don't know that we can believe what we say. And, you know, that has been happening. Um, I, I lost, um, uh, somebody called in um, Abdul Jabbar. Uh, Abdul Jabbar called in from Bauchi. We lost that. See if you can call in again. And we would like to hear from people who are close to the matter. Because um, a lot of us are, you know, especially in the southwest here and other areas, we're going about, the all that we know about it is what we read in newspapers. But there are people that, it touches their lives. They're scared to sleep. They don't know what to do. So it's a desperate, desperate, desperate situation, way beyond talking about it on television. Um, so those guys are, you know, tremendously affected, and this is a problem. Remy has called in. Good morning, Remy. Good morning, Uncle Spola. Uh, thank you very much for calling in. Yes. Um, I, I have been from, work from Lagos to Maiduguri, from Lagos to Portacourt, from Lagos to Sokoto, as a WHO officer. Okay. So what I want to bring out to you is that let everybody take care of each uh, area. And the Western region had always been the forwarding uh, area where people have organized themselves. But the Mirati Island wanted to use the method of coming here and settling down and then going to start, uh, South South. I'm sorry, it cannot work. And that is uh, uh, they're trying to colonize again, which is called neocolonialism. I don't think that can work. Thank you very much. Um, okay, thank you very much, Remy. Uh, there's, there's, there's this other difficulty and that we're all Nigerians, and every Nigerian has a right to reside peacefully yeah. anywhere in, 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 in the country. It's a constitutional you know, guarantee. Um, when the last gentleman, Remy, spoke about people settling down, there's so many people settling down in, in Lagos, for instance, southwest, that are not originally from the southwest, but can claim that we are, because we've lived here, we've yes. given birth here, we spent all our lives here. Um, how, how really is the Fulani, the cattle uh, the herdsmen, how, how really different from all of that are they, technically speaking? And this, 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 that's why I say that this whole thing, it's Mayati Allah members are all Nigerians. No Nigerian is allowed to break the law. There will be sanctions. Uh, but it is alleged that they trample on, on, on our stuff. Let's just put it like that. And our stuff would be property. Some say the uh, criminals, you know, um, criminals that are thought to be cattle herders are busy raping, busy robbing, pillaging, destroying farms. They say it's an image problem. Mieti Allah's point of view is that that's not us. And that's why we're bringing this whole idea. Uh, but you see, there are fears. That's why we're bringing, let us... Also, you'll be surprised what we could get might be the notion of Mayati Uncle Allah. Yuri, Uncle Yuri, we are now in the days of bandits from the north. Now, they are coming up every time. What is Mayati Allah doing in setting up vigilantes, the Fulani vigilantes, to cop the bandits? In the north. In the north. Yes. Which is, uh, I think, Felicia, was it Felicia that made the point? Yes. She yes. was the first yes. person to make yes. that point. So what so, are they doing to why have they sorted every it out? Every time we, yeah, we hear this, we wake up to different news every day, and they want to come to southeast. Yeah, and also because when, no when you have that right to live anywhere in the yes. country, yes. guaranteed by the constitution, mm. 
Uh, the constitution also does not envisage that you will trespass on people's economic uh, uh, resources uh, and then people's farm and then destroy their properties. You see, because a man's right to swing his hands ends with another man's right to defend his nose begins. Mm -hmm. So everybody have that boundary, okay? Even though you can live anywhere in the country, mm -hmm. it, it does not mean you should go to places and begin to destroy, you yes. know, the, the, the economic resources mm -hmm. or the source of livelihood mm -hmm. of the inhabitants okay. of that place. That, or, that will be or invasion. Or over all their... Yeah, that will be them. invasion. That will be trespass and that will be all kinds of illegality. You understand? So, and that must be addressed. And that is what we are saying, that it is better you allow the people of this region to guide against such invasion. Okay. Um, uh, James, did I get the name right? James Udoma. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, yes. Yes. I understand that you, you, know, you know a lot about vigilantes. Are you something of a vigilante yourself? Yes. I am the commandant of the vigilante group of Nigeria. Okay. Lagos State. In Lagos State. Okay. Yes. So what do you think about this proposal by Nieti Ala? Yes, please. The uh, Vigilante Group of Nigeria is well structured for community policing. The problem we are having now today is we, our police are overwhelmed and there are structured vigilante members in various communities who are ready to assist the police to solve all this menace of crimes we are having all over the place. You see, when you are saying you want to have the mayati alert vigilante, they are not structured. They are not profiled. Who profiled them? So members of the vigilante group registered 1999 by the federal government. And these groups have even put up their bill to the National Assembly. And the bill is presently on the table of the president for accent. These members have been trained by the police. For basic uh, information, you see, the police have to have information for them to be proactive. And these are members of the committee, they are ready to give out this information. The problem we are having in this country today can be solved through the Delante groups of Nigeria. Okay. We are now begging the president to assent to this bill. We have our member all over the 774 local government. They are ready to do this job. They are ready to assist our security agencies. Yes, we can where, do it. Where, where we do you, can... James, where, where do you get your... How do you register your membership? For instance, this, this Miyati Allah proposal that, look, let's have a Fulani Youth Vigilante Group. If they were to... And I'm just asking this, you tell me. If they were to come through you for registration or whatever, that look, uh, how, or how does it work? Uh, you seem to trust members of your group because you no, say... No, the mayor the Allah have to register in their community where they live. They have to register back in their community. While members who are here in Lagos have to register where they live, where they domicile. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, the proposal that in the southeast, let's set up a Miyati, uh, no, no, let's up, set up a Fulani Youth Vigilante. I, I, is that, I, I, and the register there, is no. everybody happy? Is it, people cannot just come together and say they want to become a vigilante member. All right. They are a structured vigilante member, registered member. You can't just bring anybody that don't have any experience about keeping security of their area, who are not even staying in that area, who don't understand the, the, uh, the, the, the area to come and secure the area. It's not, it's, it's not fair. So it's you, don't not, think, you don't think this is a good idea? It's not a good idea. Registered vigilante members are structured for community policing. Thank you very much for calling in, James. Really appreciate Thank that. You. Thank you. Mm -hmm. hmm. Interesting. Uh, well, you, you see, it's... it's you know, it's coming along what we've been talking about uh, for the past almost, you know, three quarters of an hour. Trust, Mr. The, the, that gentleman now, Mr. James. M M Mr. Udoma. What do you think about what he said? That the, we already have an association of yes. vigilantes that covers the entire country. He said every, 
in, in 774 local governments, we got, we got membership there. The bill is on the president's table and all of that. Well, it's interesting to hear this because, of course, I didn't know this if he wouldn't have called in. Yeah, government should encourage them. If they have been able to assemble themselves, as he has said, and if it is true that they spread across the entire country, there is no point uh, beating around the bush any longer. We have a serious trust deficit in Nigeria. And then people who reside in different communities already understand how to go about. They are not even saying they want to be the security forces. They said they will give police of course, useful because, information for yes. them to be proactive. They, they, because they're is, trained by the police, yes, according it, to what it, Mr. Odomajor said. Information gathering. And it's very important. And most of these vigilante volunteers are ex-military men, ex-police men. Mm. They are the ones who organize in the community and in the estates. The so let, let's devolve this, this centralization. Part of the problem is that the law is known already in this country and um, indeed all the cattle breeders and rarers, you know, they, they know these laws um, because it's a mistake to think that they're just a bunch of illiterates and all of that. They know these laws. But the problem has been, it's not as if they have shown any form of alacrity in obeying these laws and keeping the peace and, you know, deferring to the customs of their host communities. Apparently, some think they want to be how they are and who they are, wherever they are, irrespective of the local circumstance. And this usually will bring fiction. Uh, Mazi Okorafo, good morning, sir. Good morning, Sayori. Good morning, the Oga Ophelia and uh, Oga Barista. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sir, sir, you see, this is just a name for business that is <laughs> full of vigilante. Any addition is free to register any name. The best option for Nigeria, as people have been saying, is community policing. It's long overdue for this country. Now, this issue of community police people are talking about now is very easy. The local government chairman should manage this if we are ready to have a proper election, to have proper local government chairman, not a, a performance by the government mm. or that by the governors. Now, because if the, com the community is being supervised by the local government chairman, the councillors, they have no problem. Now, let me give you an instance. Do you know the problem we are we 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 having here that in Israel, if they say anything that has to do with them, maybe slave business, all those who they say that they do, they will bring them back. The government will bring them, see them, stand, employ them, let them use that their civil ideology and do what and solve the problem for security. Now, what you're supposed to do, there are a lot of kidnapping everywhere. Can the government authority bring all those who are involved? Let them sit, sit them down. Let them take charge of the security. Like the full and the uh, we are talking, it's just a name. If they are ready to make sure that. As if you go down uh, east, you have Mosul, you come down to Yoruba, and you have uh, this uh, OPC. Now, they know that these people are afraid of the, the world full of vigilante. Let each one have their own name. Take proper security of that environment by using your youth. At the end of the day, we see it will not be a combination of synergy between the, the, the system military forces we have of different kinds so that we can get the final say in terms of insecurity. Because there is no way you can get the development that the remote resources or any progress in any environment where the people cannot close their eyes and sleep and snow. This is not possible. Mm. But each of these every security security is getting out of proportion. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day in Lagos. Thank you very much, uh, Mazi Okora, for calling in. And um, as I said, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, I I lost the call. That is, it, it dropped. Technically, dropped. Uh, uh, Abdul Jabbar had called in from Bauchi. We'd really like to hear from, you know, up north, uh, people who are perhaps a bit closer uh, to some of these problems because um, I made the point that there are a lot of us probably who are listening to this, reading this news uh, in air-conditioned situations, and the conditions we're reading about are the most abject. So, uh, you know, we, we, maybe we'll be lucky and we'll get some callers from the north because they can often contribute uh, information that's um, valuable and that we don't have. You know, Uncle Yori, it's very easy for uh, us uh, to see. Before you launch, sir, okay. uh, Michael Inenugu uh, okay. wants to contribute. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. Can you see Indeed. And you get on the today. Sure. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. You see, this vigilante, the plan is vigilante, uh, it, it can't work. Um, I happen to be, a, a, I've lived in the village, and you know these things very well. What Nigeria needs now is micro security group. Micro. Like where I stay now in Enugu now. There was a time 
between 2011 to 2015, there is a seasoned robbery around the street. The 12th or 15th of August 2015, mm -hmm. you know, these people just have their way and do whatever. But on the, 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 there is this robbery on the August 15th, that 2015. That was the last time. The entire young boys, we know who is doing what. And we rounded up all of them. Within two months, we rounded almost 19 of them because we know who, what they are doing. If you snatch a phone in the street, we can tell you who smashed it. We can tell you where to find it. Even when we don't, we are not participating on it because we all stay in the same street. Mm. Importing somebody from somewhere to, uh, in the name of vigilancy, he, that could have a mini impact. Little or nothing. So for me, Nigerians should let look at how to structure security. This Nico, uh, we are open and he went to commit something very. It's a place I know too well. It's part of the places I grew up. Okay. We know what happened. That is not the subject of discussion now. Thank we you. know how we take care of uh, uh, some insecurities, even down at those who want. So oh. all these things, uh, we, we are very much acquainted to it. And if we really want to propose real solutions mm -hmm. for those of us who are in the street, we know how to go about it. Thank you. Indeed. Thank you very much. There are a number of, there, there's so many proposals, and this has been an ongoing conversation uh, of both sides and government at the highest level. Um, so this is just another uh, suggestion, and it's like they're getting feedback. Uh, we're, we're getting feedback on this suggestion so that people know the other areas that they have to work on. For instance, look, the, the last caller, Michael, just said it won't work. That's on the one hand. Um, Ohaneze said, we'll resist uh, Fulani vigilantes. Uh, now, not Fulani, not cattle rarers, but vigilantes. That is the one that will resist. Uh, provocative is what Atheni Ferry called it. You know, it's all there on the front page of the Vanguard this morning, which is in front of us here. You know, like, you know. Okay, I was saying that uh, it's very easy for us to sit here and talk about this. But when we hear from the victims, yeah, the people that were involved, uh, uh, that, that suffered, the pains, the agony. In fact, I heard a testimony of a woman. You see, people like that will not sit and hear that some mayati are saying that some Fulani uh, people should come and become vigilante. It will not work. People like that will fight because from what they went through, this same uh, Fulani, in quote. To the, that they suffered from this same set of people, then you now want them to. And like, this is just, a, it's not rocket science, Uncle Yuri. Let us have vigilantes in different zones. Let everybody take care of his own zone. zone. Mm. We, have the, we, we have vigilantes in the southeast. Let them take care of southeast. Okay, F Let, F F Faith is holding on in Ikeja. Good morning, Faith. Good morning. Thank you very much for calling in. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I have a little contribution, and I think um, there is a problem. I think there is an agenda, the Mieti Allah and the whatever, there's an agenda to invade the East and, and the West. Because if we should look at it, they cannot protect the environment, and they're coming now. If you look at, I was traveling to Ikeja last time, and I could, our, our, our bus broke. I mean, stopped at them um, around them um, F online, and I was, I, I was, I was actually asking people around that what's happening. People were talking about X men, people kidnapping inside the bush. In fact, they even told us the location, so we had to leave the our bus somewhere. I had to just go somewhere to hide. I think there is an agenda to invade the east and the west. And we are just being too lackadaisical about so many things. Now, because they know Easterns don't, don't take things very easily, they want to negotiate to come down to the East. You know, so we just have to be very careful. But this that is your, but, but thank, thank you very much. This is your uh, uh, speculation, face. This is your read of the situation. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you very much. Appreciate your call. Now, I've got to go on a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, please.
like a you know home stretch now on this conversation. I, I don't know, but at least going by reactions the following day to it hitting the headlines, um, which is today, um, it looks like there's a problem, and therefore it's going to require a lot more work. And the most fundamental problem is trust. Everybody has mentioned that in one form or another, that how far can we trust ourselves in this whole matter? And when you look at history, they have, we've always had law and order as an objective, but then herdsmen have traditionally, and uh, no pun intended, trampled upon them <laughs> with, their, with, their, uh, with, with, with their livestock. Um, yet all the time insisting that this is what we do. It's the only thing we, we know how to do. So I'm sorry, it's, there's no compromise. We are not going to suddenly find another profession, another way of life. Everybody knows us. And the point is being made that this whole headsman issue has been with us from, from the earliest time, from 1900. Although different countries in, in West Africa handle it differently. I don't know, you might have read situations in Ghana that is not as bad as this because there's a, there's a different attitude to this whole thing in Ghana. But it's not as if they don't have problems there too. Um, are you, how optimistic, because the Fulani, they're not going anywhere. The Nigerians, you know, they're not going anywhere. So we, 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 we are here. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Yakub in Dokwemu. Uh, good yeah. morning, sir. Good morning, Chief Jerry. Good morning to your guest. Good morning. Chief Jerry, for me, the that telling Nigerian, especially the South, uh, South region, that they want the uh, uh, vigilante group. To be no, no. Full and youth vigilante if, group. If, if it is full and youth, if you're, it is not going to work. Why? Because, let me give you a typical example. Here in Dokwe, move for example. And then you come from, maybe you come from Sanfara or you come from Bonu State. And then you call yourself full and youth. I then want to police in my environment that I know more than you. How is it going to work? <laughs> that is number one. Number two, the other example is this. You see, our military are make some gay in Bonu State. Why? Because civilian JTF ask them in order for them to make a serious gay. Are you getting it now? Why? Because those civilian JTF, they know not a kind of that very particular thing. If full and need uh, 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 men they want to set up this kind of a group. Let them go to San Farate, where the bandits are really rocking that place. Let them set up of that kind of a, 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 a vigilante group. So Shari, it's not a good idea. Yeah, it's not a good idea. You don't think it's a very good idea. idea. Just of, I'm, just of I'm sorry, because of time. Because they of keep, you know, I quickly, to carry in the battle. They kidnapped somebody early, early this week. What, what happened? The local vigilante, the local uh, hunter, they make sure they go outside them and then they get the people back, the, the boy back. What are you telling me? It's not a good idea. They shouldn't be allowed. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you very much. A bit passionate there. Uh, but, but then again, this is how these things are. Uh, uh, we, we've just got to round off. You maybe just take, take about uh, 30 seconds, a minute. What do you think? Do you think that we should proceed with we should make haste slowly with this whole matter. Yes, it's a suggestion. It's just a suggestion, a proposal. Okay, the, the authorities should look at it critically mm. and then uh, scrutinize the permutation yeah, yeah, properly yeah, yeah. and yeah. situate issues and the every way aspect. They, they, they are to be okay. situated. Okay, you guys, that pretty much. Yeah, my take one, I think I also have an advice for the mayor to, if they want the Fulani expert, I mean the Fulani youth vigilante, to, then they should look at the Fulani in that terrain, mm -hmm. in that territory, mm -hmm. then they should tell whoever that wants to join the vigilante of that territory, then they should join them. Else, I would say, okay, me, yeah, let, let yeah, them go to yeah. the north. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, where so instead of having Fulani vigilante, youth vigilante in yes, the north, yes. uh, why don't the Fulani apply to become the, yeah, they want the vigilantes members that are, of, of the, the existing, existing vigilantes. vigilantes. Yes, then, so that they can check them well, they can check mates and know who is really with them or against them. Then well, also, lang language they should, barriers. They should, yeah, thank you. Well, that's the reason why to know who is with them. Because what me and particular about my advice is they should go to the north, fix the bandits before they can talk of other regions. Okay, Ola Inka, Ola Daniels, lawyer and social. Uh, affairs commentator, thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Evans Ufeli, lawyer and public affairs analyst, 
Thank you very much as well thank for you. coming on and sharing your perspectives. Okay, so that's our program, and I should also thank you for calling in and um, adding to the program. It wouldn't be the same without your calls. And um, I, I saw. I wish I I hadn't missed um, Abdul Jabbar's call from Bauchi, but you know these things happen. Maybe there'll be another day. Join us on Monday. We don't do weekends for a fresh edition. I am Iori Folari. Have a great weekend. Thank you.